I just got a notification, guys, that in the news, since we're in the L.A. area, that Eric Garcetti has shut everything down. Like everything? No gyms, no movies. Oh, that's What else? I knew this. I said it. Yeah, it's... All right. I guess I'm not going to yoga class tomorrow. Oh, buddy, Yeah, you will not be able... We are, like, now in total... Can you do a YouTube video or something? They do like yoga YouTubes. Oh, yeah, I can do yoga in my apartment on YouTube. I guess. You should have those. gotten one of those mirrors. Didn't you see the advertisements? This is what this is. I have a Peloton. See, I fell for it. After the Christmas, you know, uh, commercial and the, the controversy, I decided to go ahead and get one because <laughs> I'm like that. And wow. now I can do j classes in my house. I don't have to go anywhere. I am like fully quarantine prepared. Yeah, I used to do I used to do insanity uh, workout in, when I was on the road heavy, like forty weeks a year. I would do that in my hotel rooms and at home. And I don't wear shoes in my home, Kim. You'd be proud of me. And uh, I uh, <laughs> that was so, so racist. That was so racist. <laughs> no, I'm aware of the cultural differences. Do you wear shoes in your house, Kim? <laughs> I do not. Well, why not? I do not. Why don't you? Because I'm Asian. Yes, That's there. Why, it's not, obviously. it's not. If you ask me if I have scotch I in my house, about... it's not racist. Even though I'm sober, I still have whiskey in my house because I'm Irish. I don't drink it, but it just has to be in my house. Let's just, that's just where my grandmother. I, I approve of this because sometimes though, you give it to me. After you tell your story, I'll tell you my funny story. <laughs> okay, go ahead. My, I did the ancestry.com test and I, you know, I, yeah, I know I risked it. It was cause it was given to me as a gift. I never really wanted to do the DNA stuff. Cause I'm a little bit leery about it. Like the government's got my DNA now, you know, just in case. Um, but I decided to go ahead and do it and I got the results back today and it came back that, you know, I'm, I'm half Vietnamese and I'm half Dan I'm like Danish Vietnamese. Right. And it pretty much shows this, except it gives you a little bit more of a breakdown of like where other, you know, so on my Vietnamese side, it says, you know, 40 something percent Vietnamese. It showed like 6% Thai, like from Thailand. And then it had 2% from China, 2% Chinese. And the Vietnam and Chinese, Vietnamese and Chinese people have like definite bigotry against one another. <laughs> and so as a joke, I text my mom and I said, mom, bad news. And she's like, what? And I sent her the picture of me being so, showing 2% Chinese. And I said, I'm 2% Chinese. And her immediately, her immediate reaction was, oh, that's, oh, you're not going to get coronavirus. Don't worry. <laughs> like, <laughs> she thought that's what I was saying. Like, I'm Chinese. I'm going to get coronavirus. <laughs> uh, oh, man. That's fantastic. Um, but you're not. So. Uh... I'm not. And I still don't wear shoes in my house. <laughs> Maybe, you know, maybe I'll get coronavirus. Um, yeah, I don't wear shoes in my house. Um, and, and friends of mine, that all my Asian friends obviously don't wear their shoes. And people from the Middle East don't wear their shoes. Uh, they don't wear their shoes in their home in like, in like Brazil. Um, but most Americans do. And when, when friends of mine are like, oh, oh God, I'm going to take my shoes off. I always go, the next time you're in a public restroom or walking across a parking lot, look down. And then think of that whether you're debating on whether wearing shoes in your house. Well, you know what? I don't wear shoes in my house. And you know why? Because my wife doesn't let me. That's why I don't. <laughs> Are you married to so, an Asian woman? Nope. Uh, no, I'm not. But she doesn't let me wear shoes in the house. She doesn't. So. That's why I think you're, I love Caitlin is fantastic. Thank you, you. picked a fine woman. There. She's, she is. You know what? Americans, we, so, you know, don't typically take shoes off and also use toilet paper, which is part of the problem that we're having right now. Everywhere else in the world, I've asked, you know, my family in in Asia and my friends in Italy because I was living there for a little bit, and they're all like, and I'm like, are you running out of toilet paper? And they say, no, we use bidets. Yeah, oh, I know. Yeah. That's Why what, can't we be clean? That's a clean. When I was in Japan, the first time I was in Japan, well, the first time I was like, what's this button? I was like, oh my dear lord, what is that? Like, I feel so violated. But then I was like, I get it. It's be It's more. It's more hygienic. Oh, it's way more hygienic. It's way yeah. more hygienic. Yeah. It's like you're not risking any of this stuff, and it feels amazing. My uh, <laughs> all my family in Italy, they keep uh, they keep like sending stuff on Facebook. Like they're all because they're all like quarantined and hunkered down. They're all like making pizza all the time. 
like the most like like so oh, they'll nice. send us pictures of this like delicious looking pizza because that's oh, like what all of them are doing wow where are they from what part i have family in florence bologna and then on the amalfi coast so it kind of covers like most oh, of the okay. country between all of them um yeah and I, I think most of them like kind of originated north but now they're kind of scattered all over hey, everybody like share and subscribe hit the bell notification button and the subscribe button even if you've done it before because they're unsubscribing many of you every day watch the ads all the way through if you click skip ad i don't get paid also support us at patreon.com slash graham elwood or rockfin.com slash graham elwood rockfin.com is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform all my videos are on rockfin ad free thanks for watching